Hello, today we are going to find the value of x in the exponential equation by three best ways. Right? Everyone look at it. Power x minus four power x is equal to is equal to zero. Firstly, we have the first way. Okay, right? the first way. Everyone see. 8, 8 power x, you need to break down is is equal to 2 times 4 power x minus 4 power x is equal to is equal to 0. And then we have 2 power x times 4 power x minus 4 power x is equal to 0, right? Because we need to apply the exponential rule when a times b bracket power n is equal to a power n times b power n and then we have this one so we have the common factor 4 power x 4 power x 4 power x bracket 2 power x minus 1 right is equal to 2 0 and then we have two cases for that 4 power, power x is equal to 0 or 2 power x minus 1 is equal to, to, zero, to 0 and then in this case 4 power x you can see it is undefined right undefined and here is use it the only value of x from the this equation therefore we have 2 power x is equal to one yeah and you can pay attention here when when the exponential is equal to zero is equal to one so is in the in mean that a power zero is equal to one therefore in this case x equal to zero right so the first step we need to find the value of x is equal to to zero yeah and then next one we can find the value of x in the second way second way right yeah you you can see it it a power x yeah it is equals two cube power power x and two, four four is equal to square power x is equal to zero right so and next step you need to turn you need to change the two square power x on the right hand side so we need to change the side of the number therefore we have two power two q power x is equal to 2 square power x and then everyone see we have the exponential rule everyone look at that a power n brackets power m is equals a power n times m right and then so we have 2 power 3x is equals to 2 power 2x and so we have 3x is equal to 2x is equal to 2x and you need to you you need to minus both sides for 2 power x and therefore we have 3x minus 2 2x is equal to 0 and then we have x equal to 0, 2. It's okay. Yeah. It's the same value for the first way, right? x equal to 0 and x equal to 0, 2. And then next one, we have the third way. Third way. It's okay. For the third way, we have the next nice one. We have the from the you can see from the second way we have we have 
2 power 3x yeah is equal to 2 power 2x and then next one we have more like that 2 power 3x minus 2 power 2x is equal to 0 2 so everyone see when uh, a a power a plus b is equal to a power n times a power b right and then you need to break down 3x is equal to 2x plus x so therefore 2 power 2x plus x minus 2 power 2x is equal to 0 so therefore 2x times 2 power x minus 2 power 2x is equal to 0 and then we have 2 power 2x is the common factor right so therefore 2 power x minus 1 is equal to, to 0 and then we have 2 power 2x is equal to 0 or 2 power x minus 1 is equal to 0 2 so therefore in this case yes the equation is the undivided right undivided because it's not equal to 0 from 2 power 2x and next one we have 2 power x is equal to 1 therefore x equal to, to 0 yeah okay for those three best way we start in uh, seven minutes we we have the the same value of x so thank you for watching my video don't forget subscribe my channel love you all bye bye